the property regression is a model that is related to logistic regression analysis. Both these models are used for binary dependent variables and they differ in the link function. So they are similar in that both probit and logistic model apply the Bernoulli distribution of 1 or 0 as the distribution for the GLM. Then uh, the link function is different. So in logistic model we use the logistic link and in probit model we use the cumulative standard normal distribution. When we look at the lines here, the red one is the, uh, the probit line and uh, the black one here is the logistic curve. They, they look very similar. In fact, if we uh, squeeze the logistic line a bit, then uh, that will uh, become very similar to the, the, probit, the, uh, the probit link. So, uh, so what's the idea? Why would we want to use this uh, cumulative uh, standard normal distribution here? The idea of a probit model is that uh, we have for each observation we have a, a latent variable. So we have a latent variable that contains the linear prediction. So this is the, uh, the part that we normally transform using link function plus an error term that has variance of 1 and mean of 0. And uh, that latent variable y star determines the value of the actual object y. So if the, if the y star receives a value greater than 0, then we have a positive value response to y. And if it receives a, a, a negative value or 0, then we have a negative uh, or 0 response to y. The idea is that uh, when we uh, do a probit model, then we calculate the, the linear prediction. So let's say that the fitted value of the linear prediction is minus 1 here. Then we uh, draw a standard normal distribution around the fitted value. So the mean is minus 1, standard deviation is 1. Then we look at, uh, at 0. So uh, what is the area right to the 0? What is the area left to the 0 under this curve? And the area to the right of 0 is the probability of observing 1. So when the fitted value increases, this distribution shifts right. And we can see that the area here would increase as well for that observation. So the probability of observing a positive value would increase if we increase the fitted value. The same way if we decrease the fitted value, then uh, the probability of observing one decreases. This has uh, some interesting theoretical features that are relevant for, for example, selection models. But uh, for most practical applications, the results of logistic model and probit model, when you plot them, they will look almost the same. This, is, uh, this shows uh, the logistic curve in black and probit curve in red fitted to the same data, we can see that there's almost complete overlap. So uh, it's largely uh, a matter of convention which one we apply. But for certain models, the, the probit model is, is the right choice. If you don't know that you're in that situation, then uh, which one you apply probably doesn't make any difference.